Since 1986, Shakeleg out of Newport, Rhode Island, has pioneered the adaptive sailing program. Over the years, Shakeleg has brought hundreds of people, like experienced physically disabled sailor Kurt Leatherby, out on the windy waters of Narragansett Bay. The sailing program also brought in famed America's Cup captains like Bill Ficker to further strengthen the program. Hosted from the Newport shipyard, more than 2,000 people, young and old, participate in the program each year and race in fundraising regattas. Shake -a chief executive officer, Paul Callahan, has been the guiding force behind the sailing program for more than a decade. Paul's vision was to bring experienced, physically disabled sailors and put them together with Wall Street and corporate executives to raise money for the sailing program that serves people with all disabilities. We are in beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. I am one of the program directors for the Shake a Leg Adaptive Sailing Program. Um, these are our docs down here. We work with physically and mentally disabled kids and adults. We take them sailing on two-hour harbor cruises, bay cruises, and we really just try and get them out on the water for as long as we can, um, as often as we can. The majority of my staff is from the Newport area. Most of them have uh, grown up sailing. They love to interact with the clients. They love to sail with the clients. California. It's really important for anyone with a disability or without a disability to get out on the water. The water has a great healing power to it, and the water it just brings out a different side of people, and it's so relaxing for them to be able to do something that an able-bodied person has no problem doing, but someone with a disability could never be able to do this. How was that? That was fun. Yeah, I like that. I love Jake Lake! <laughs> The adults that we get out here, a lot of them have kind of been beaten into the ground by their disabilities. And once they get on the water and start doing things for themselves and start being able to steer the boat, they just love it and they get into it and they can see that they can do stuff too. It doesn't matter their age or what problems they've come across in their past and what adversities they've had. They come down to shake a leg and they just get it on the boats and love it. You left her on the ground. Love you. over the bounding bay. Oscar is a wonderful human being, loves to sail. He'll sing, he's uh, visually impaired in some ways, but it doesn't matter to Oscar. To play when Jack comes home again. At the end of the day, um, he comes off the boat and uh, feels like a new person, and that's our job to help to facilitate that. I think Shake Leg has done a really nice job of catering to all sorts of different people, and the diversity of the people who come already really shows just everyone can come sailing with us. Shake a leg is a great experience, something that everyone should try, even if they've never sailed before. Everything is taken care of for you. Uh, it's safe. The staff is very careful about how they handle you and treat you and give you an opportunity to do as much as you're able to do. Uh, and it's, it's just great, great fun. because I get to meet a lot of people who are going through the same challenges as me, like PT, having trouble walking. So you all get to learn together, right? We all get to learn together to be true to ourselves. It's What's also... The What's the motto? Yeah. It's also confidence is cool. The kids that come out here, you'll see them they're not disabled kids. They're kids that are so excited to be here. They're loving life. You would never know if you just saw a picture of their faces or if you just talked to them. You would never know that they have a disability, and that's amazing. Yay! Ah! <laughs> California! 
I might be in the loop for her to make it go. Evan, he can go out, make friends with just about anybody um, and feel, feel good. I think the confidence was cool for me to know that he can go out and he can go sailing and, and he loves it. I really love the camp and I really love the camp counselor. Oh, we love you too. And a nurse. And a nurse. They're some of the most content kids I've met in my life. They're grateful. They're really just appreciative and they love sailing and they love the fact that we're out here helping them. They're learning and having a good time with their new friends and socializing. They're just really the best kids I've met in my life. Everything you see, every part of me, gotta get what I deserve. I got nerve. Can you hear her? I mean, I see a transformation even just from the time that they unload from their vans to the time that they come back in from the boats. Even if they're, you know, tense or anything, they get out there and they're just able to, you know, forget about everything for two hours and just relax and enjoy their time sailing. If you want to try anything you want to try, go for it. If you want to go to if you want to go sailing, then come to Shagalay. The future of the adaptive sailing program has entered uncharted waters, but the heading is straight and true. The program is now expanding to provide sailing to kids with cancer from area hospitals. You know that this is a really worthy opportunity to be able to you know, get, remove these kids from their everyday situation and expose them to something new. And you know, a lot of them you know, take that away and go, yeah, I can do a lot of stuff and I'm not defined by my illness. And that's really important for you know, anybody who's going through something really big. The captain is driving in style. I really like it here because when I'm here, there are no worries for me. It's a very amazing place. Charlie Dana, principal owner of the Newport Shipyard, appreciates just how powerful sailing can be in helping a child with cancer and their family. And I think that uh, those kids got a tremendous amount out of it today. And you know, when you watch those kids and you kind of know in the back of your mind, you don't know each story, but you know in the back of their mind, they've got a heavy protocol they have to follow. And that protocol makes anybody's heart go out. And, and you sit there and wonder, and then you see the positive stuff coming out of their eyes, in their parents' eyes, and you say, something good happened today. Paul Callahan, the CEO at Shake -A Leg in Newport, has been working hard with other passionate people to take the adaptive sailing program to the next level. One of the key things that we've been thinking about in our adaptive sailing program is using larger vessels. They're more complex, um, they present bigger challenges, um, but they also present bigger opportunities. In November 2008, Arthur Slossman donated the 12-meter Easterner to the world-famous Disabled Sailing Program run by Shakalike. The yacht will be re-engineered to allow disabled people to train and compete on the same waters that once hosted the America's Cup. So we're looking to make a quantum leap in disabled sailing, not only to help our program, but to help other programs around the world. The Easterner Project will teach people with disabilities the fundamentals of teamwork, self-confidence, mentorship, and an added feature, the ability to perform optimally under pressure with disabled and able-bodied people working side by side. A first in the history of any sport, the Easterner Project will culminate 
with both able-bodied and disabled teammates racing together to win a world championship. If the Easterner is not at the Newport shipyard, you can find her at the following destinations in 2009. Boston, New York City, the Hamptons, Greenwich, Connecticut, Martha's Vineyard, or Nantucket. We have this new model and we know it works. We're using the wholesaling industry to broaden the horizons to help out with people with disabilities, children and adults with spinal cord injury, children with cancer. We'd ask you that you think about it, join us, tell your friends, and most importantly, pass along the message to the people who need it the most, and we're there to help. For more information on how you can support these life-changing endeavors, please contact Paul Callahan at area code 401-965-2000 or send an email to paul at paulcallahan.com.